to the Rich Eisen Show on this Veterans Day. There is really only one guest that we could have, and he is kind enough to be here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. The inaugural winner of the Armed Forces Merit Award, the uh, man who was accepted into the Green Berets, multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, and then walked on uh, at the campus at the University of Texas to be a long snapper. Here is Nate Boyer back hey, on the Rich Eisen Thanks Show. for having Good me. Good to see you. You too. How have things been with you, Nate? Good. What's Very been up? good. What, what you been up to since uh, you uh, had your cup of coffee with the Seahawks? <laughs> right? I mean, uh, essentially. Essentially, yeah. what happened? What, 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 for, let's start with that. What was that experience like for you in Seattle? With the uh, it was unbelievable. It really was. I mean, just to have that opportunity and get to, I'm playing the preseason game against uh, the Broncos and CenturyLink. Mm -hmm. And they sell out for preseason games. That's kind of crazy. Right. And the whole deal, running out with the flag, the national anthem, getting to play in the second half. And, yeah, I had that big, dumb, stupid smile on my face the whole time. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. But it was, uh, it was great. It was, it was, you dream about that stuff when you're a little kid. You yeah, know, I know. So. We had your dream to want to be out there on an NFL field. And bot bottom line is you did it. There's no did toys it. about People it. like you helped me out, though. No, 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 no. You did it yourself. Dude, you did it yourself. I was just only one of the many people that, that was talking about it because it deserved to be talked about. And um, so now you are involved with uh, the Water Boys Initiative, correct? Yes. Literally the day after I got released, mm -hmm. um, Chris Long reached out to me. And from I the had, Rams. From the Rams, sorry. Mm -hmm. Deanna the Rams, mm -hmm. Howie's son for you old folks. Yeah. But uh, no, and he just, he told me about Water Boys. I actually hadn't heard about it. Mm -hmm. And he told me about what they did, their, their, between from players in the league, they're raising money within the locker rooms and fan bases to build clean wa water wells in Tanzania. And the goal is 32 wells from mm -hmm. all 32 teams. Sure. And anyway, he said, man, I I'd love you to be an ambassador for us or something, some sort of involvement with it. I don't know what that looks like, but if you have any ideas, let me know. And, and I asked him if I could do something with veterans. And he said, absolutely, that'd be perfect. So. The next day, I was, <laughs> I was on a stair climber. Everyone's always like, why are you on a stair climber? But mm -hmm. I just do that sometimes for exercise. And one of the options was Kilimanjaro, which is in Tanzania. And mm -hmm. so I reached out to a buddy of mine that his first deployment to Afghanistan, he took a knee uh, next to an IED and lost his leg. And he was a, he's a Marine. He's an amazing guy. His name is Blake Watson. And uh, I said, man, you want to climb Kilimanjaro? to raise money for these clean water wells. And he was, I didn't even finish that sentence and he was all over it. Mm -hmm. And so we, we devised this plan. And so we're gonna climb, we're leaving right after the Super Bowl. We're gonna go out there and climb. And originally we were gonna try to raise $100,000 for two wells. Well, we've already greatly surpassed that. So now we're going for a million. And a million dollars would be 22 clean water wells dug. Um, 22 veterans a day are losing the battle with suicide. And so that's sort of a symbolic number to me, and that's that's why that mark jumped so high. But I just feel like we can do it. So not only are, are I'm with Nate Boyer here on the Rich Eisen Show. Not only are you part of this Water Boy Water Boys initiative to to build these wells right. in Tanzania, you are now incorporating your um, campaign to put more awareness on the plight of of veterans uh, and su and help with suicide prevention. Right, as well, right. I mean it. it it really does go so much beyond suicide prevention. I think that's just a product of what we're trying to do, but we're capable of so much as veterans. We're capable of so much. We've already sacrificed so much to, um, and we, we're just built that way. It's in our DNA to continue to that, that service. And if we don't have a way to do that, or if it's hard for us to find a way to do that, um, we need to be pushed sometimes. And so I'm kind, of, I'm kind of pushing this. It's like a lot of guys are coming back here and we feel like, we'll never do anything as important as what we did over there, you know? And it's hard to find that thing, that way to continue to serve, because essentially, yes, we're serving our country when we join the military, but when we go over there, we're fighting for those people, you know, those people that can't fight for themselves, the third world, and something as simple as clean water, which is essential to life, um, when it's not, when it's just not given like it is here. Well, we I mean, take it for granted. It's such I mean, a privilege, yeah. We take it for granted. No, it's true, totally true. and and. I mean, everybody, even vets, we come back, and it's not like we come back here and we're just like, nobody understands. Like, you come back to a beautiful place like this where everything is given to you, mm -hmm. and even, I fall into that trap all the time where I just don't even think about the little things like that, but they're very big things to a lot of people in the world. Sure. So. I have Nate Boyer, former 
uh, Green Beret, right here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Can you want to take a, a phone call? Can we take a phone call here with yeah. you? Sure. Uh, Chris in St. Louis, you're on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> Are you there, Chris? I can guess who this might be. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey, Nate. I'm, I'm a big fan of yours, buddy. This is Chris Long from the Rams. How are you, Chris Long? Chris Long. I've heard What's the up, name. dude? How you doing, Happy man? Happy Veterans Day. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that, brother. So, so Rich told me I, he, he wanted me to drop in and and we could talk more about Waterboys. And, um, yeah, I, I just listened to everything. And that's how it went, man. It just it just worked out great. It was like the first day, I guess, um, that, that Nate was looking for something to do. I guess a day or two before I saw that Sports Center special and I was really kind of blown away and saw that he had had spent time in Africa and I was like I don't know how the hell I'm going to get this guy involved <laughs> but I got to have him involved he's got a great energy about him he's been kicking you know a uh, major major behind for us raising money and uh, he's been as good for the Water Boys and and better than any of the active NFL players. So, yeah, it's it's um, you and it's you and your brother Kyle, Chris. We got a list up here: Calais Campbell of yeah. the Cardinals, Justin Tuck of the Raiders, Russell Wilson of the Seahawks, Sam Bradford, Brickashaw Ferguson, T.J. Lang, Vontae Davis, Delaney Walker, just to name a few, right there. Yeah. What what moved you to call about Nate, Chris? Well, it was one of those things, man. You know, I, I watch I watch a lot of Sports Center. You know, I watch a lot of TV like everybody else, and. Uh, it was one night we were um, in training camp, and I got home, and uh, I was—I just kind of sat back and, and watched Nate's stories. And there's a lot of inspiring stories on on TV nowadays, but this one just kind of struck me, and I was like, "This dude is—is uh, is just, you know, he—he's got ambition. You can tell, and um, you know, his, the road he took to get to where he is—it it was very cool." So. Um, uh, and, and the thing that struck me is that he, you know, spent time in Africa. He's, he spent time in, in the third world. He understands a lot of these issues like so many vets do. And that's why the tie in is so powerful. Um, you know, and, and, and understanding the, those issues and seeing them firsthand, it, it's a powerful tool to have in combating some of these issues. So I just, I didn't know, I tried my buddy, David Vibora, who I played with. Uh, for the Rams because he's running an adaptive training place down in Dallas that works with a lot of vets. And I said, do you know anything about this guy, Nate Boyer? And he goes, yeah, that's one of my buddies. So we you got know, on the phone, huh? and, awesome. and that was it. And, you know, you, and that, that's how it all went down. Yeah, that's how it all went. Yeah. It was like a, you know, a, a three-way text chain. You know? Yeah. Text, I, not sex. No, I, had, I, I heard the T. Okay, good. I heard the T. Yeah, sure. I heard that, yeah. So, uh, no, so what, what, what? Oh, God. Yeah, I know, Chris. It's okay. I'm a little slow today. No, it's all right. Yeah. It's you the know. work day. But literally, I called and I go, I don't know what, I, I don't know what the hell, I don't know how the hell it involved you. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I don't have some proposition, but let's, let's, let's figure this out. And I wanted to see what kind of guy he was on the phone, just kind of, you know, get an idea awesome of his personality. And it, yeah, he was perfect, awesome. man. He's perfect for what we're doing. And he, he thought of this idea and it's going to kick ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool stuff. That's pretty cool. Well, Chris, I appreciate you just chiming in. I, I just wanted to hook you guys up, Nate. Yeah. Chris, yeah. I appreciate that call then. St. Louis this weekend to watch the Rams play the Bears. That's right. Are you going down there? I'll be there. No kidding. Yep. So you, you're going to be down in the... Uh... This will actually be the first time Chris and I meet face-to-face. -face. No kidding. Yeah. No, we've, we've had a million phone conversations, and I feel like, yeah. I feel like we're BFFs, but... We're we... BFFs, bro. <laughs> there you go. So, so, yeah, so we're going to have uh, Blake there, too, and um, it's going to be a good weekend. I, you know, um... I got injured early in the year, so I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But, um, you know, it'll just be good to have him in town and, and see the Rams play. So, um, and I, I know St. Louis will love to love to have him there, and hopefully we'll be able to pump that up a little bit. So, uh, Chris, I appreciate you calling in. And, and, and I know as you mentioned, you know, you watch a lot of uh, ESPN. I saw it on your Twitter feed, as you know, a few weeks ago. Uh, I appreciate you calling in to a show that does not embrace debate in certain ways of shows that you usually watch. <laughs> Chris. Yeah, well, there's intelligent ways to debate things. Like, you know, <laughs> what we're talking yeah, there's about. no hash. We're not hashtagging anything right now. Yeah, just, you got we're it. just chopping it up, Chris. You know, and, and, and just remember, there is a remote in that training room. OK, Chris? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hate pulling the vet card, but I can sit through uh, first take for a while. <laughs> I mean, there's some there's some entertainment. It is there. Veterans Day, Chris. You know? Yeah, yeah pull that vet card, Chris. <laughs> You've got, you got Nate Boyer's approval. <laughs> what more do you, you want? Chris, take care. All right, take it easy, guys. See, See you, brother. Later. So what does that mean to have a, a, a Pro Bowl player like Chris Long want to just pick up the phone and, and say, hey, I respect what you did, what you've done. Let's hook up. It's unbelievable. It's awesome. Especially that it, especially that it wasn't just, uh, you know, to say, 
hey man, cool story. It was just like, hey, I want to involve you in something. I, I would bring, love to bring you on board. And that's, for all veterans, that's what, that's what we need. Like, don't get me wrong. We all appreciate, thank you for your service. Sure. We really do. But when people take that extra step and actually either have an idea or ask us, you know, if we could help them with something, you know, instead of always just trying to, you know, pay for our meal and thank us for our service, which, like I'm saying, no, 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 don't no, get me wrong. I, Nate, I don't think anybody hearing you gets okay, you wrong. Okay. I don't think anybody gets you wrong. That of okay. course we all, you know, can do the the uh, the bare minimum, right? The perfunctory, because that is exactly what it is. But pay for a meal, what have you? Right. It's it's what's the next step? It's like what what part of their world can you become a part of if that's something that you're interested absolutely. in. Absolutely, absolutely, because we're just people too. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know what I mean? All we come passionate. back and we're, we're always gonna have that piece of us. We're always gonna be different than everybody else in that way, mm -hmm. um, but it's a positive different, you know? And, uh, but I mean, when we, we come back, we wanna just we want to just be Americans again and be part of society sure. and contribute. Uh, and we obviously have different outside the box thinking and all that kind of stuff, but that's I mean, that's exactly the, that's exactly okay. the point. I mean, Stick right there. We'll get one more segment. Uh, we'll okay. just chat with you. I want to hear what it's like to go up Kilimanjaro. I, I have no earthly idea. I have a sense of it, but... I don't know yet either. <laughs> okay. uh, kill, Nate Boyer, I know that's coming after the Super Bowl. At Nate Boyer 37 on Twitter, the Water Boys Initiative is something you could check out at waterboys.org. We are talking Veterans Day with one of the... Uh, with one of the veterans that we know and, uh, and appreciate and love, uh, Nate Boyer, here on The Rich Eisen Show. Back with more in a moment. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, some Nate Boyer's here uh, on the on the show. Uh, yes. So this is uh, an interesting story out of uh, here in Southern California, that the man who runs Disney, Bob Iger, has been uh, reached out the Chargers and Raiders for a project to build a stadium in Carson, California. Okay. They basically said, if it's built, he's running this. He's running the show. He's going to hire somebody to run the entire facility in his image and with a lot of his vision you know, as the Disney chair. Right. Uh, so Bob Iger uh, it could be the man that gives you that Southern California NFL experience. And we thought, if this man has got the Disney exposure, but what happens, maybe he's got a little bit too much Disney on the brain <laughs> should this Carson Stadium be built. And here are some of the features that we have already got. Rich Eisen Show exclusive. Here are some of the features. First off, it's a small concussion after all. <laughs> be the ride. Uh, another ride that might be another hologram mashup of Emperor Palpatine, because you know they have Star Wars now, and Al Davis together. <laughs> Here's some more. Let's check them out. Uh, finding Nemo's voyage to the bottom of the AFC West. Oh, God. Wow. Okay, we're, 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 these are all real, apparently. <laughs> Uncle Madden's mutant six legged turkey hunt. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. Go to the Carson Stadium, you'll also get Philip Rivers pre boards for giant families. <laughs> go right to the front of the line if you've got a giant family. Manta Teo's wild imaginary ride. Oh, no. <laughs> what else do we have here? Uh, looking for some more. Uh, California's tax-exempt tax municipal bond adventure. <laughs> well, it could be privately funded, though. We don't know that. That's, that's up in the air. Yeah, Jamarcus right. Russell scissor oh, stand. Boy. I like that one, too. Kids are not allowed to go that. Uh, Cat Space Mountain. Uh, and... An, <laughs> And uh, I believe uh, the last one is Suck It, Stan Kroenke. <laughs> That's an odd choice for a ride and a feature. Well, it's like a lollipop stand. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. 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 Sucker. That'd be an odd, <laughs> an odd choice of a, 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 a fan-friendly feature at an NFL stadium. <laughs> Space oh. Cap, Mount, uh, Cap Space Mountain. I like that one. That's good. You go on the wild turkey hunt, and then you go to Jamarcus's. No. Stand. Those, those you sure it's together. not the other way around? Uh, maybe you're right. All right. We're back with more on The Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> Welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show. Nate Boyer is here. I'd like to take one more phone call with you here. Okay. Is it uh, Aaron Davis? No, that's not, no, no, no. It's Robert in Denver, Colorado. Oh, Robert, Robert, you're on uh, you're on Rich Eisen Show with uh, Nate Boyer. What's up, Robert? Hey, how are you doing? I am doing fine. You're. Uh, I've got about a minute and a half before uh, the end of the hour hits, Robert. Okay, Rich, I'm a big fan. Uh-oh, oh. did, did Robert yeah. just drop? No, you're there, Robert? Go for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm right here. Great. 
You're on. Okay, Nate, how are you doing? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good. I'm a, I'm a combat Vietnam vet. I was a speaker at the statue dedication in 1984. And I also served with Mike Fitzmorris in Vietnam, Medal of Honor recipient. And my CEO in Vietnam was Major General, retired Major General Raymond Reese. He's now Assistant Secretary to the Secretary of the Army. He was my CEO in Vietnam in 69. Mm. And I was Veteran of the Month in the state of Nevada in 2013 in September. I received the Sonny Montgomery Helping Hands Award from the Disabled American Veterans. And I want to help. I want to be part of your, I want to help you. That's what awesome, man. First of all, thank you for your service. That's, uh, that's amazing. And second of all, we'd love to have you. Um, first oh, of all, get it for you. Here's what we're going to yeah, yeah. do. We're going to have him hold okay. on the phone line so oh, we can perfect. get all of his information. Okay, perfect. How's that sound? Perfect. Does that, that sound good amazing. to you, Robert? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Robert. Thank so, you, hang brother. on the line. We're going to get your information. And people could just go, can they tweet at you at NateBoyer37? How do they get yeah, involved absolutely. If, if there's more um, robbers out there? that You know, the there. actual link is waterboys.org slash Killy, K-I-L-I. Mm -hmm. Kilimanjaro for short. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's, I'll, I'll plug it. There's NateBoyer.com too. Good for which, you. Yeah, good for me. <laughs> Come on, man. You're here on the platform. You're but yeah, on the show. I mean, any, of those, any of those ways, yeah. And, and like you said, at NateBoyer37 on Twitter, but... Anybody and everybody. You don't have to be a vet, but we'd love to have as many vets involved in this, too, and I think they're going to be a big push. Well, sir, thing. you are a walking inspiration. As you know, you, you can come back here anytime you want. You can Thank come you back so here much. anytime you want. And uh, it, as you mentioned, you know, uh, for respect for you, uh, I can only do what I can do, which is uh, offer you this platform and keep you around for another segment like I just did because uh, in that interim, Hannah Davis walked into the green room. So that chance meeting can happen in about 30 <laughs> seconds of time. That's how I roll for you, Nate Boer. You're the best. You are. Good for you, you, Nate Boer. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, bud. Hey, thank you. You bet. Happy Veterans Day to you. Thank well, you very much, You sir. bet. And to Appreciate everybody it. out there who have served or are serving, God bless you. We love you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.